see you there. You know, royal shows and expos are a lot of fun, aren't they? Yes, they are. Why? Well, I'll tell you. They've got dagger dogs to eat, royal show bags to buy, rides to be ridden on, and animals to be judged. And isn't it sad when it closes down, they all go away? I admit that I often weep openly when that happens. Well, this year there's no need to fret because the Slaughterman's Arms Hotel have decided to hold their very own royal show. And to tell us all about it is the bistro owner and manager, Elsie Front. Elsie, tell us all about the Slaughterman's Arms Royal Show. I'm astonished. G'day, g'day, Lord. Yes. yes. Well, we got food, we got rides, we got this balloon, we got everything. Well, you have got everything. You've summed it all there. Now, the rides sound very intriguing. Do tell us about the rides. What have you got there? Lionel, we got a chair. <laughs> Chair, yes, and uh, and what does it do, Elsie? Nothing. Uh, it certainly sounds safe, Elsie. I must yeah, say that. Yeah, hundred percent safe. Guaranteed money back if you die while you're sitting in the chair. Well, that is good, news, isn't it? We live in a very dangerous age, so that's excellent. Now, how much is it? Speaking of money, to ride in stationary chair? Yes. Oh, I don't know, dollar? No, <laughs> eleventy-five dollars. No, oh, eleventy-five dollars. Well, that's very unusual. Man. Now, Elsie, if I can call you that. My spies tell me that as well as your patrons being able to sit in a stationary chair, they also get marvellous show bag value. Is that right? Yes, Lionel, that's right. With every schnitzel purchased at the Slaughterman's Arms Bistro, yes. you get this free show bag for guess how much? Oh, I don't know. Uh, $75? <laughs> no, a dollar. Yeah. Uh, what's inside, Elsie? Well, Lionel, you get this yummy block of chocolate. Oh, yes. Mm. Mm, good value there. And, uh, oh, you get a pen lid. A pen lid, uh, that's down there. And uh, you get a receipt. A receipt? Oh. And this complimentary schnitzel. Mm, tartare. <laughs> Yep. And also, in honour of you, we got a special Lionel Timothy mask. Oh, oh well, I'm. That's fantastic. Let's have a look at that there. Oh, it fits right on. That's amazing. It's so uncanny. It's like looking into a mirror. Oh, hello, me. Hello. It's quite eerie, ladies and gentlemen. I must say, I must say. Mm, yes. Well, there you have it. If you have a hankering to uh, disguise yourself as me and eat cooking chocolate while holding a receipt in one hand and a pen lid in the other and sit on a chair, of course, why not go down to the Slaughterman's Arms for all the aforementioned needs I just said then. Oh, I didn't see you there. Well, it's very good. She does, does the voice as well and you didn't even see the mouth move. Coming up after the break, boys and girls, we're speaking to Dave Dobbin and he'll be mouthing his latest miss and we'll also be talking to Alan Pease who will be telling us all about the wonderful world of body language in lounge furniture. So I'm certainly looking forward to that. It's Alan Pease! Oh! <laughs>